Hi, I'm Heather Dennis here at Cloud Hall. I'm going to share with you a foot routine. We do routine, foot routine, we routinely do in the studio. So you can practice this at home to have smarter feet, stronger feet, and improve function through your foot and ankle. I've got my friend Marion here. She's going to help us. So let's watch. So Marion, let's take that band and put it underneath your big toe ball joint. Yeah, you're folding the, the yoga belt. Put it right underneath this joint, which is here. And you're gonna stand parallel with both feet and you're gonna press down into the strap with that toe ball and you're going to lift simultaneously. And I also want you to lift this ankle up. This ankle, yeah, yeah, but keep pressing down through here. Lift that ankle, lift that ankle, lift this ankle up. Yeah, whoop, see, yeah. So Marion is... turn around a little bit, so... There we go. Yeah. All right, so press down through here, but lift the ankle. Yeah, so lift the ankle. So your foot needs some... So press down, but see if you can lift this inner ankle up mm -hmm. as you press down there. So you're going to hold this for 30 seconds to a minute, and maybe do three rounds before you move on. Okay, let's let that go. Let's do the little toe side. So if you want to move around and we'll see where you put the little toe. So just a small little, yeah, not so much. A little, yeah, there. And then we're going to find the bone on the outside of the foot. Put the belt underneath the bone. And same thing here. I want you to bring the foot parallel. So walk your heel out. Walk your heel out. You bring your heel this way. There you go. Even more. There you go. Now, see if you can... Press down into the outer heel and lift this inner ankle bone. There it is, but keep this guy on the floor. Yeah, a lot to think about. Press down through this little bone and pull up simultaneously, but keep pressing into that big toe ball joint. Yeah, a lot to work. So what this exercise does is it helps to strengthen the lateral arch of the foot. So over time, these muscles will get stronger and you might even be able to see Marion lift this lateral edge of the foot up off the floor. But she likes to stand on the outside of her foot, so it's, it's challenging for her to get this arch to lift. So we we'll do that for 30 se three sets of 30 seconds to a minute. And you can feel the muscles in the foot starting to burn. That's a good sign. It's not something to be afraid of. These feet, these muscles of the feet go offline because we wear shoes so much. All right, let's come off. And why don't you turn right around and with your heels to the camera. I'm going to fold the belt three times, four times actually, and I'm, then I'm gonna slip it right underneath the back of her heel bone. So under her calcaneus, so I know people don't like names of bones, but I like using names of bones because that's what they're called. So it's this bone we're, we're, we're pressing down through. That's, yeah. So why don't you, yeah, let's turn this. Not have, yeah, there you go. Now press the heel down and pull up simultaneously. So we're thinking here, pressing the heel bone down into the ground, which tends to activate all the muscles up through the leg into the pelvic floor, bring your body back over your foot. And think of pressing those two, the little toe ball joint and the big toe ball joint simultaneously with the heel and her foot is working. Yeah, there's a lot more um, effort in the, in the muscles of the sole of the foot and the ankle joint. So press, press, and you lift simultaneously with the band. It gives you something, to, it's, it's resistance. It's giving you something to press into. And breathe. Good. You can stay there, I'm gonna get a towel. Okay. All right, Mary, let it go. And I'm gonna get you to step over onto the floor and we're going to continue this lesson with the towel work. So if you could, I think, I think standing to the side is a good okay. idea. And we're gonna take the, I'm gonna get you to 
step this foot forward, a little bit more forward, yeah. So what we want to do, we want to make sure this, this is called plantar flexion of the ankle. We don't want th to do this with this configuration, which is dorsiflexion, this is plantar flexion. What I want Marion to do is to press those two points of the, the, the little toe and big toe side and press the heel and no, keep your keep oh. the legs long. And then I want her to try and pull these joints towards her heel so that you crinkle up the towel. So see if you draw these towards, so you lift up underneath the foot. So you're trying to move the, the towel, fold the towel underneath your foot. Yeah, you see it's hard work. Lift up there, you can see a little bit of lifting there. That's what we want and release. Let it go, that's it. And then keep the toes long, but kind of drag those toe ball joints back towards your heel. So this lifts up. There you go. And release. And lift. So you can see a little bit of activity starting to happen in here. The same thing's happening on the inner point of the foot. And release, good. So if you've been, let me let me put my foot there, Marion. Yeah. After you've been doing it for a while, you're gonna have more of this kind of activity where you're able to drag your your toe ball joints back towards your heel. So you get now you don't do it by scrunching the toes, that's mm -hmm. cheating. It's you're doing it through <laughs> pushing those toe ball joint point joints, points down, and then dragging it back towards the heel. So you can see the, the arching underneath there, there's a strong arch underneath the uh, inner, inner part of the foot, and that's what we're after. So good luck. Um, I hope you get to practice this. It's really good for your feet. Um, be, thanks, bye-bye.